All right, we're live. Thanks everybody for joining us today. Uh, my name is Danny Sloan. I represent our MRO and tactical vendors here at Federal Resources. Um, joining me today is Roscoe Ross of Homatro. He'll be presenting um, and demoing the new Pentheon tool lineup. We'll be speaking a little bit about the tools as well as demoing their cutting and breaching capabilities. So make sure to stick around for that. He's going to uh, use them live, has the whole setup for uh, actually showing you how the tool works. Um, before we begin, I want to give you a little bit of background on who we are as a company. So Federal Resources is a solutions provider um, to our military, federal government, and first responders. And for decades, we've partnered with industry-leading companies like Homatro to bring innovative solutions to our customers. Through combining these products with our procurement vehicles, we work quickly and effectively to get customers' equipment in hand. Um, and Federal Resources has multiple contract vehicles with various scopes and ceiling values where we look to assist our customers with rapid procurement. Um, from man-made to natural disasters, SWAT team missions, vehicle rescue calls, and a variety of other scenarios, Homatro has risen to the top of the list and is trusted as one of the world's leading providers of rescue tools. For those listening in, uh, if you look at the bottom of your screen, we have the ask a question and the request a quote buttons, which are available to use anytime throughout the presentation. Um, and lastly, before I turn it over to Roscoe with Homatra, I want to note that we're having a demo day and a firing range scheduled for June 2nd in Fredericksburg, Virginia, um, which includes a breaching demonstration from Homatro. Uh, the registration link is in the chat right there, so feel free to click on that and, and sign up. We hope to have you there. Um, with that, Roscoe, I'll turn it over to you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hey, I want to first give a shout out to FR, say thank you for allowing us to do this on your uh, live chat on a Friday. Um, once he said, like he said, I am Roscoe. I am the federal manager for Homaltro, Uh coming to you live from Glen Burnie, Maryland at our factory where we actually make all these tools. Um, today, I'm actually getting the opportunity to go ahead and tell you about our new Pentheon line, as well as our SOCOM backpack kit. I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the Pentheon since I'm right here. The most critical piece of any battery type tool is actually the battery. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about ours. This is a 28 uh, volt, seven amp hour battery. We actually made it out of large cell or extra large cell lithium ion cells. The reason we did that is for actually a couple of reasons. Number one, large cell lithium ion tends to heat up much slower than any of the others. So as an anticipation that that might be happening, especially in your warmer climates like Afghanistan or Iraq or down in Texas or Arizona, Whitney, California, you name it. We've made these so that they're suitable for all climates. We have them up in Alaska. We've got them down just about everywhere around the world. Uh, number two is we've actually made these smart. So this battery will actually talk to the tool and the tool will talk to the battery. And what it will do is in extremely warm situations or when either the tool or the battery is uh, getting the, approaching the part where it's too hot, what it will do is it will slow down the uh, rotations of the motor and the pump, but keep the same pressures on at the tool, the cutting head, so that it has a chance to off get, um, cool down, dissipate some of that heat. Um, there are several other things that happen with this, but I'm going to go ahead and show you one of them. And uh, to try to save battery power, we've all gone to a deadhead situation to where we've been out there and we're going after a cut or a spread, whatever, and it just keeps sitting in the same spot over and over and over again. So what we've done is we've actually made it to where once it deadheads or the tools touch, you'll hear an audible alarm as well as down here on the screen, it will tell you. All you have to do is go back the other way, turn the light back on, and you're back in business. Hopefully that makes sense to everybody. Uh, since batteries are so critical, what we've done is we've actually made it so that you can check them out yourself I'm going to show you a quick PowerPoint slide here real quick. And what it is, is you can actually plug these chargers into your computer and have the battery health checked. So it'll tell you the state of charge, the battery health, you name it. It'll tell you everything you need to know about this battery. One other thing, if you look on the bottom portion of that picture or that screen, you'll see that you can actually check the tool itself. Uh, to be able to do that, you actually have to come to uh, Glen Burnie, Maryland to take a, a DST course or a service technician course. 
it's, it's really simple. God, I've done it, and I breathe out my nose and drag my knuckles, for God's sakes. But um, that will allow you to get on the screen to actually check the tool. You'll see everything working in real time. You'll be able to do all your annual maintenance. You'll be able to do, if there's a problem, you'll be able to fix it. Not a problem. So are we off of PowerPoint then? Nope. Yeah. We're going to be. Yeah. All right. So hopefully you can see me over here. This is actually our charging stations. So we have three chargers. You can have a battery on each one of them, and they're actually daisy chained from one to the other. So by running off of 110 power, you can actually charge up to three batteries. But wait, that's not enough. Each one of those can actually charge a tool that's actually on the bat on the battery that's actually on the tool. We call this onboard charging. But it's just a magnet. All it does is stick down, but it actually sticks inside this port in the back, and you're charging the battery. So you can actually charge six batteries off of one plug. Now, battery life is important. These these will last an hour, or really thereabouts. I mean. Some guys are going to get a little bit more than others because they're more um, experienced doing extrication than the younger guys. They don't fiddle with the back end as much. But the batteries last for one hour. It'll take one hour for this to charge again. And since two batteries come with each tool, you should be able to use it indefinitely. That being said, on the charger, when you're using 110 power, this will actually take one hour as well. When these are hooked up together, what happens is, is it prioritizes the battery on the tool, and then once this is completely full, they'll charge then the one that's on the battery. Now, for 12-volt charging, it does take a little bit longer. If you want that information, please go ahead and reach out and, and ask me. Um, does anybody have any questions about the batteries or the chargers? Looks like we're all clear in the chat and the uh, ask a question feature, Roscoe. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and talk a little bit about each one of the tools. This is the uh, PCU50. It comes with um, uh, something that we're calling a stepless speed monitor. So what happens is, is normally battery powered tools have two speeds, slow and fast. That's it. There's nothing in between. You're either going to be way up here and closing the blades, and once it hits, some sort of resistance that drops way down and it uses that same speed all the way through the cut. What ours does is a mechatronic capability. Are you on the PowerPoint then? We're going to? Yeah. It's a mechatronic system inside there, the tool that continuously optimizes the motor and the pump settings to deliver maximized flow of fluid over the entire cutting uh, range. So, Think of it as a, uh, a five-speed automatic transmission versus a three-on-the-tree transmission. It's constantly moving and changing it to optimize the cutting force and the cutting speed. The second picture, the, first, the top picture that you're seeing actually shows the uh, mechatronic uh, and the uh, Pentheon tool, the speed curve that's up there. The second line down is actually a lines tool that runs off of either a twin line or a single line core hose and a pump where it has three stages in it. And the one on the bottom is actually the two stages ran off of a battery. If you look on the bottom, the orange portion of that picture will actually show you the amount of time and speed you're gaining by having a mechatronic system inside the, inside the tool. Are we back on me? No, nope. you're, you're good. I'm good still, okay. So all the new Pentheon series tools are, are in basically any climate. It doesn't matter what it is. Extremely hot, extremely cold, and actually underwater. We have a rating of 57, which is just like everybody else, for one meter underwater, however, comma. Ours is a little bit different. Where our competitors, you have to have a trained DST come out and take a look at it and flush it out and everything else. Ours, all we ask you to do is rinse all the gunk out of it. That's all we're asking. It still works. You don't have to wait 72 hours to use it again. It's ready to go right after you pull it out of the water. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, we have a new control handle on the back of all of our tools. So this control handle, just like a motorcycle, if you pull it towards you, it's going to open up. If you push it away, it's going to close. But it comes in 
two speeds and ultimate control. So I can barely turn it on and you'll barely see those, those arms moving, but I can open it way up or close it way down, go fast, so that I can actually gain speed and get to the cut that I'm trying to make. But you can feather it anywhere in between. It's not just open and close. It's a feathering capability that's huge. As always, we still have the eye bolt technology in there that allows you to get in much smaller places because we don't have to have the gap in between the blades, which allows you not to have to have that flaring technique all the time and allows you to get into deeper cuts. For those of you who have not seen it, we do have the blades at an uh, inclined angle of 30 degrees, which allows you, not only are you not having to do a military press to get that up to the top beam, you can actually use it right here in the center of your body where it's most comfortable and still make the cut. I can still get up at the top and I can still get down here at the bottom without getting on my knees. Hopefully that makes sense. The one thing that I like this for is especially when you are at a 30 degree offset like this is, you're gaining much more room before the tool ever even comes close to the patient when you're cutting that, that B pillar. We've actually optimized the head and the cutting uh, spaces so it's going to stay longer and longer and longer available for you to actually go out and do the job. There's nothing worse than blades starting to get dull, chipping, all that other kind of stuff. We've hardened these and we've actually made it so that they last much longer. Let's go ahead and uh, move on into the new spreader. Now I've got to come out from around here to be able to show you this because it's our new spreading tips. Oh, tell me if that's in focus. So as you know, these are much more aggressive here and in here, and the teeth on the outside of it, on the middle of it right here, are much larger. So as soon as you get into that uh, spread or that uh, trying to get purchase on it, automatically you're right there. And then these teeth go opposite directions so that no matter which way you're pulling or pushing on it, it actually grabs a hold. On the interior, you're not going to lose out of that. Very simple on and off. As, as normal, just press and go. As always, we have our new grip that's on here, a polymer. All these come on, these new polymer uh, grips are 360 and they go on all the tools. I always have the lights on there, but there is a battery back here that you can turn them on and off. Uh, does anybody have any questions about the new cutter or the new spreader? All clear here. Hey, there we go. Let's move on to the new stuff. Pardon me for just a second as I move this. So this is a PTR uh, uh, 50, which is a RAM, and it actually comes with the laser. I'm going to try to show you the laser. Hold on. I'm getting close. Maybe, oh, no, nope, I've, I've hit Heidi several times there. <laughs> you got uh, us. So in the beginning, I really didn't think this was going to be that big of a deal. However, comma, now that I've been out there and actually demoed this at night several times, I can't tell you how much I really enjoy having that laser on there. It is huge because you're not having to go back and try to refine that spot. You're not trying to have somebody guide it in there for you. You can do it all by yourself, one man. A couple of things that I like about this is it's small enough at 22.4 inches that it pretty much does all your spreading needs. <clears throat> what this does, since it gives you two handles to be able to carry it, you can get in those tight spaces and actually make room. That's what a ram is for. Whether you're doing a dash roll or actually trying to lift the hood, you, I don't care. But this only goes up to 54 inches. That's kind of great. But the best part about it is this, is all you have to do is use this extension on the bottom. And you don't have to unclick anything. You don't have, got to take off the ram head or anything. Once it's on there... Now you've got 71 inches of reach. 
And what this does is, is that since these are all smart tools, as soon as you put this on, it knows it's there and reduces its speed and pressure so that there's no buckling or anything else. <clears throat> to take it off, literally you can do it with a gloved hand. All you're doing is you're trying to find that detent pin and just depressing it and pulling it off, just like that. Very, very easy to do. This is one of my favorite ones that just came out. Finally, we have the uh, PCT50, which is our new spreader. One of the great things that we've come out with this, just like our old 5160, is removable tips. What this does for you is, is it allows you to make a complete cut all the way through. Instead of stopping right here where the blades are, where it just mashes everything, you can actually make complete cuts all the way through the blades. The other thing that we've done is we've added additional teeth for gripping. I can't tell you the number of times, whether I was on the service or in, in the military, you name it. When I was cutting, the number of times I'd, I'd get into a combi cut and I'd start skipping out because there was nothing to grab it. Now that's there and you're not moving once you get into a good cut. Well, pardon me. A couple of the other things I really kind of want to go over is uh, this also has the I, I, I cutter, by the way, just in case anybody wants to know. These tools, once you get them in your hands and you start playing with them, there's nothing out there that compares to them. I'll put them up against head to head, anybody that you want to know. Uh, so if, if you're interested in a demo, a live demo, we can go ahead and bring these tools out to you. Let them go out there and play with them, see what we're going to do with them. Uh, and we'll go on from there. So if you're ready, is there anybody got any questions over anything that we've covered on Pentheon so far? I think we're all clear. Cool. Let's go ahead and move on over here to the SOCOM backpack kit. Pardon me. So, can you see me? Okay. I got to tell you, these are a whole lot easier when you're in person. You actually get to see people. So, this is the brand new uh, SOCOM backpack kit. It's actually designed for the military. Uh, the military actually assisted us in designing what they wanted and what for. First off, the battery life on this lasts for about 35 minutes continuous use, under pressure, ready to go. And trust me, those guys really, really uh, pushed it out there to make sure that that would work. It, ran, it runs off of our old GCT batteries. So they recharge in about 45 minutes or so for 35 minutes of use. Very easy. It runs off of our old core hose. So it can be run with any of the core tools that you have except for the rams. The only ram that it works one well with this is this. This is the DR200. It runs basically just for breaching and just for reaching. So breaching wise, this has an 11.8 inch stroke with eight tons of pressure. We're going to get to that and show you how to use it here in just a second. The other thing I'll tell you to do is all those roll up doors, get this up underneath it and it will raise it up 11.8 inches, I guess, um, because there's not that much force behind it. We build it heavy duty with a strong striker plate behind it. So if you have to get in there and really beat in to get into that gap, it's available to use. We've got the 5006 special materials cutter, which has a one inch opening. Basically anything you can get into that one inch, this is going to cut and it's going to cut quickly. It's, it weighs about 14 pounds, but you got to have that kind of mass behind it to generate those kinds of pressures. This is a great little tool if you're trying to get a little rebar, if you're trying to get through padlocks, chains, whatever's in your way to make that breach, this is what I would go for first. Very small opening to get into, but if you can get it in that one inch gap, you're ready to go. And I don't pretty much know anybody in the military who's not familiar with the 5111. This is the same thing as your HCT5111 that you use by hand or the GCT5111 that you use by battery. The only difference is this is run by a pump. 
So you've got 51 tons of spreading capability and 12, 13 tons of actually cutting force, which really makes it good because it's light enough you can do just about anything, but it's powerful enough that you can do things that you're required. So you can lift, spread, cut. It's the jack of all trades, master of none. So what I would like to do now is I'm gonna go ahead and put this on and if you can bring that around here, we're going to breach really quick. <clears throat> so hopefully you can see this. We have one, two, three, two by twos, and a two by four here on the door. Pretty solid, and we're going to go ahead and breach that really quick for you. <clears throat> Got to put on my safety glasses, otherwise mom's going to get me. Total weight on this is about 35 pounds, so it's not hard to carry or get a hold of. Hopefully you can hear that. Here we go in three, two, one. Whoop. I keep reaching the back for it. Hold on for just a second. Let's take this off and show you cutting some steel instead. And this is supposedly one of the Master Lock's best non cuttable uh, high locks. Helps if you cut the right side, I guess. So, I hate the, the back side of this ripped out. I don't know if you can see that or not. But uh, I'm going to see if I can't find one more spot to try to get into that and break it. Because it's not for lack of force. It's just the back side of it broke. You got to love training games, right? questions whatsoever or anything that we've covered so far i think we're all clear wow that was a whole lot faster when you're doing it in person i gotta tell you <laughs> <laughs> um well that's about all i got here if anybody has any questions please feel free to go ahead and reach out to me or uh, reach out to your local rep for a demo we'll bring this down there and you can see what you can break with it or if absolutely you want let us know. Absolutely. And just a reminder, we will have these uh, demos in person. You can get hands on with them um, on June 2nd in Fredericksburg, Virginia. So if you take a look at the chat, there's a link to register there. We'll have a lot of other demos as well. So I hope you can make it out there. But uh, last call for questions. Anybody on the line here? All right. We're good to go, Roscoe. We really appreciate the uh, the support. Great presentation. Um, 
and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you.